What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here. And if you're a reseller like me, if you sell on eBay and Amazon, you probably have a bit of a death pile. I have a big death pile. I know a few people that have big death piles, but I found a bin right in front of me. It's like a milk crate filled with video game stuff that I don't know why I've been putting it off, but I don't even remember what's in here. So we're going to go through this together, see what kind of stuff we have. So it's kind of like a haul video because I don't even remember what is in here. Um, I picked some of this stuff up on my road trip when I went across the country. I got uh, like half of this stuff from a guy in Texas selling stuff locally because I just couldn't pass it up. So let's take a look and see what we have in here. All right, so here is the milk crate. There is a bunch of random video game stuff in here. The first thing we have right on top is a GameCube. I believe these are all empty. Uh, we have another GameCube right here. And actually, that has a game in it. This is Luigi's Mansion, which is a, a fairly valuable game. So that's actually not too bad. You know what? There actually might be a game in both of the black ones. Watch. Now, this one doesn't have anything in it. Let's see. Yeah, there is a game in here. Okay, cool. Um... Mario Party, I think that's seven. Yeah, Mario Party seven. So just these two games alone, I mean, you're looking at 50 bucks at least after fees for the pair. So not too bad. Let's keep looking in here. Uh, of course, the controllers. This is a third party controller. This would be something I just keep. I could bundle it with a system, but I like to bundle first party controllers like this. Now, the difference between third party and first party, you'll see it says Nintendo GameCube right there on the front. You want to say that, that means it's official. So I like to bundle those. We also have a couple Wii remotes in here, two Wii remotes, which is nice. One has the Wii Plus attachment. People actually, you need that to play uh, on the Wii U with the Wii controller. So it's good to have those attachments. We have another first party. Now this one's a little beat. You could tell that analog stick is missing its cover. I don't know how exactly I would uh, sell this, but probably on eBay since it's missing that little thumbstick. What else do we have in here? Another first party controller. These are these are actually pretty good. I mean, these go for about 20, 25 bucks a piece over on Amazon. So that's awesome. What else do we have in here? We have a power uh, AC adapter. Not sure what this is for. Maybe something will be in here. We have a Wii U gamepad, which is nice, along with the Wii U. Here's the Wii U right here. Now, these are restricted for me on Amazon for some reason, so I'm going to have to sell that on eBay, bundle it up, test it up. We also have a slim PS2. Let's see if there's anything in this guy. There actually might be something in the Wii U also. I have no idea. Uh, there is a game code, Game Shark in here. Um, looks clean. Game Sharks are actually kind of valuable. I kind of have a feeling I did test that and it didn't work though for some reason, but we'll we'll take a look. What else do we have in here? Another first party GameCube controller. These are the best. Definitely 25 bucks a pop right there. What else do we have in here? A PlayStation 2 controller. It is first party, but take a look at that guys. You always want to check. Come on, focus for me, baby. There we go. You always want to check for that cord wear right there. I see that a lot on controllers. Uh, you could bundle it, but you really wouldn't want to because lots of people don't like that. So let's see what else we have in here. Anything else? These look like all just the Wii sensor bar and all the power bricks in here. What else do we have? We have a random phone, uh, VTech. It doesn't look like the base is in here anywhere. We have a pirate thing. I don't know why. And a little pirate bag. What is in this pirate bag? See, now we're really, really treasure hunting. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? Let's dump it out on the table. First, we have a little diamond. Some gold doubloons and a uh, finger. And a Two Roads bottle opener. Hmm. I don't know where this came from. What else is in here? Oh, another finger. And some weird stuff falling out on my table. I don't know. That's probably trash. Um, so yeah, that's about it that's in there. So yeah, isn't that something else? That's just something else. We also have a puppy dog who shouldn't be in this room at all because she sheds hair everywhere, right? Isn't that true? And an Amazon FBA shipment getting ready to go out right there. It is Saturday. I won't be able to drop it off anywhere uh, until Monday, so I am in no rush. We found some good stuff today, didn't we, Soph? We didn't even have to go out. That's the case. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Uh, I'm trying to sell all of these clothes, guys. 
I have everything on best offer. I lowered the price on a lot of the high price stuff. Hopefully they start moving. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little haul of video games that I found sitting in my room. If you guys have death piles, definitely go through them, see what you can find. I'm going to list all of these today. Definitely get them all up, make some money on them because video game stuff moves quick, especially if you price them right. So I'm going to just price these right, get them out of here. They're taking up a lot of space and that's what I'm trying to do. Get rid of the bigger stuff, stuff that I didn't feel like testing, didn't work on, didn't feel like, you know, working on, but... Get all that out of here, get it all shipped off to either Amazon if I'm doing FBA or listed on eBay uh, in cases like that Wii U. And the puppy dog wants to say hi one more time. All right, say goodbye, Soph. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, right? This is Sophia signing out. See ya. Real quick, guys, I just got a package in the mail from eBay. And look at what I found out. I was like, oh, wow, this is interesting, a cardboard box. This person gets their cardboard boxes for free by turning flat rate envelopes inside out now you're not supposed to do that guys i wonder what i ordered i can't even remember you're definitely not supposed to do this i just thought it was kind of funny oh and <laughs> oh my gosh they turned that one inside out and then they put a padded flat rate on the inside wow this is hard to do with one hand oh my gosh come on there we go and then they put a padded flat rate on the inside and ship it first class this kind of seems like it'd be kind of heavy and a lot of work guys Unless they have the I don't know seems like this would be a lot of work to do just buy some poly bags for dirt cheap over on Amazon Use my links down below of course come on now, but what do we got in here? All right, so oh they threw in a free gift So I ordered these bud light sunglasses because they had these cool bottle openers on them They cost me 495 free shipping and they even threw in this little thing to put over your Drink when you're drinking it I didn't order that but that's cool so, you know what, seller, I'll cut you a break because you, you know, you broke the law, but you threw this stuff in. <laughs> Thanks. Honestly, I don't care if people do that. It's just I'm letting you guys know that you really shouldn't because you will get in trouble if the post office finds out. I don't know how they would find out because it didn't look like it at all, but uh, that's an interesting way to get around it. All right, guys, see ya.